what is going on creatives Stranger again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel in today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve this paint typographic title that i received from one of my followers if you need the exercise file simply make use of the link in the description section of this video so let's dive into today's tutorial So these are the colors we're going to use to achieve this tutorial. And in the description section of this video, you're going to find the link to download the brush I'm going to use to achieve this tutorial. Now I'm giving you guys this brush free of charge. So if you have the brush downloaded on your PC or your um, workstation, you can simply go to your brush tab. All right. Now, if you don't have your brush tab active on your screen, simply go to Windows and activate brush settings here. All right. Now you need to be on the brush tool before you import the brush. So what you're going to do to add the brush is to go right here. All right. Click on this drop down arrow here and select this gear icon here and then select import brushes. All right. Locate where you have the brush and then select the load button here okay so once you click on the load button you are going to have it as part of your brush presets okay let's go straight to the next um thing here so i'm going to activate my background image here all right and activate the colors now the color that i use here is the uh darker value of this color all right that's the color of my background all right for those of you that care to know how i achieve this i'm going to create a new layer and i'm going to go to my foreground color picker here and select the color here and i'm going to hold on alt and backspace to apply the color of my foreground to the layer that i just created like that and i'm going to activate levels like that and i'm going to move this down all right move this down like that now you see that we have the same color that i have on my screen now for those this is for those of you that care to know how i achieve the color on my background all right now i'm going to cancel this all right and i'm going to delete this now the idea or the advantage of making sure one of the colors that you're planning to use on the project is the color on your background is is going to make the applying of the other colors blend because these colors that i have here are colors that work together all right so it's always advisable that you pick one of these color and use it as your background but make sure that you make the value of the color darker like i did here to help the contrast all right in order to in order to project your typography paint well okay now i'm going to activate my text here all right and the name of this character here is rising rage all right i'm going to type it out for those of you that want to know the spelling so it's arrow all right so this is the name of this character here now the reason why you can not see the character name on my property tab when i click on it is because it's already a shape layer so you can see the name all right but i'm going to quickly select the name here so you guys can see all right so see this is it right here all right now you see it looks similar to what i have here on my screen so i'm going to delete this all right and let's start playing with the um, applying of the color all right so i'm going to select the shape layer which is the title or right, let's just give it title all right then i'll go to my shape all right and i'll go on the fill and select this color here so i'm going to click on this icon here this color picker icon here and pick this color and i'm going to select the okay button now sorry i need to quickly show you guys this so for those of you that want to know how i was able to convert the uh character to a shape layer all right so i'm going to quickly show you guys that now so i'm going to type um t here like that all right i'll make this bigger then I'm going to right click on the layer and select convert to shape all right so once you select convert to shape you'll be able to change the color here now but make sure you are on the shape tool uh before applying the color because if you are not on the shape tool you are not going to see this on the property bar here all right 
then i'm going to delete this again all right then i'm going to create a new layer by clicking on the new layer icon here and i'm going to call this layer paints brush okay then i'm going to hold on alt and clip this inside the title layer now make sure that you are holding on alt and make sure you place your mouse in between the title layer and the paintbrush layer till you see the black arrow and the white box and then you click now i'm going to select the lasso two now all right because i want to start with the letter t okay so this is where the tutorial start getting interesting so i'm going to make sure i'm on the lasso two like that and i'm going to draw a marquee shape around the letter t like that now the reason why i'm making this move here now is because i don't want the applying of the brush to touch the other letters all right so i'm going to select the brush two now and i'm going to make sure i hold on my alt key on my keyboard and select this color here now when you select when you hold on the alt key you are going to activate the eyedropper too and that's the reason why you you can see this eyedropper too on my screen so i'm going to click to sample this color here now and i'll go to my brush settings and select one of the cg brush that you just downloaded all right now look at the direction of the brush here I'm, I'm not really feeling it all right the direction of the brush here is not what i am looking for so i need to change the angle of the brush so i'm going to move this down like that and look at this all right let's just flip it this way yeah i like it this way okay this is good so i'm going to apply the brush here now like bam like that all right then i'm going to sample a color again from here and this time i'm just going to click right here to put this here all right then i'm going to go again by creating a new layer all right in fact we don't even need to create a new layer anymore so i'm going to select the lasso tool again and i'm going to draw around the letter e like that all right then i'm going to go back to the brush tool again and this time i'm going to rotate this this way okay that's too much good so i'm going to click once like that all right then i'm going to select the um i'm going to pick let's just pick this color here all right then i'm just going to apply that here like that good all right then i'm going to hit ctrl d to take away the marquee and i'm going to apply the same move to the other letters holding down shift so you need to hold down shift if your selection is not looking the way you want it so you hold down shift like that and i'm going to select the brush tool again and this time i want the i want the uh yellow color so i'm going to apply this bam here like that and i'm going to pick this and then just move this down here and boom all right i think i'm not really feeling that so i'm just going to rotate this again and just apply this here good all right then for the letter n i'm going to make the same move and draw i can even select another brush all right and make my brush size smaller and rotate this this way and make this bigger and then um can pick this and press this here and we can select the yellow color and bam like that all right i think i don't like the position of that so i can i'm going to rotate this and yeah this is good good i like it this way all right then for the letter s i'm gonna make the same move all right like that so for this i'm just gonna select the yellow yellow and i'll go back to this brush here that's it you can even make this a bit smaller all right and i'm gonna just push this here and 
pick this color and bam. No, I don't like that. So I'm going to change to this. And I can rotate this like that. Make it smaller. And this can come right here, like that. Then Alt, pick this, and bam. Okay. And I'm going to hit Control D and take this out. Now look at this. This is exactly what I'm looking for. And this is beautiful. All right. Um, so for those of you that want to, you, maybe you want to play more or you want to add more drama with this, you can make a copy of your title by hitting Control J and move this down. All right. You know, one of the things that I always advise creatives to do is when you see a, a design on the Internet. All right. When you see a, a particular concept online, it's not always advisable that you do the same thing that you, you, you know, you, you copy from the internet all right so i'm gonna add some little touch to this to just give it that uh um, another look so i'm gonna sample this color here all right then i'll go to my shape tool here and i'm gonna pick the color here like that and i'm gonna make a copy of this again then i'm gonna use the up and down arrow key to move this down all right then i'll come right here go to fill and change this to white hit the OK button like that and um, yeah so you can put this in a group by shift selecting all the, all the layers and hit Ctrl G and activate the free transform right click and select skill and move this up like that all right and yeah so this is it all right and I'm gonna show you guys a project I did for a client that I use the same concept, all right? So I'm gonna go to the project here and this is it, all right? Now, this is the project, okay? And um, so if you look at my the, uh, the project I did for a client here, you'll notice that I did not apply the same color I use here on the talk word here. And the reason why I decided not to do that is because I'm trying to create something that will be easier for the viewers to see. All right. And that's another thing you need to have in mind whenever you are playing with your element and graphic design. You need to have your audience in mind. Uh, visibility is very important. All right. Visibility is very important in graphic design. Make sure you create a project that will be easier for your viewers to assess uh, every information on your project. All right. So I'm sure you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you all for watching and if you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the post notification bell because I'm going to be posting more typographic tutorials for you guys to watch. So in order for you not to miss it, please do what you need to do after clicking the subscribe button. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.